Hello to people, uh, Prashant here. I guess this is my first uh, screen casting, uh, screen cast. This is the first time I'm trying uh, to do a screen cast. So this is about how to hack uh, uh, Chrome Bird, a Twitter extension for uh, Chrome. So basically, uh, what we are going to do today is uh, hack this uh, Chrome Bird to change tweet via your own application name. So let's let's get started. So first thing you should have is uh, a Twitter application. You can register your own, your own Twitter application by going to twitter.com slash apps. So I am here registering a new application. Actually uh, I already registered. I am just uh, showing you the fields you, you should be entering while registering a new one. So the application name I have chosen Hackbird. I'm lucky to get it. Like uh, that should be unique. You cannot get the one which is already there. So just a description. Application website. This uh, this URL will be the one uh, which will be hyperlinked when you tweet from this application. Say we are hacked bird. That will link to uh, techbangalore.com as of now. So organization and website. Make sure you select client here and get the retry access and save so we got the new twitter application registered and you got you get consumer key consumer secret and all so chrome bird is a open source uh, twitter extension for chrome so the source is available on uh, github so we can download the source I have actually uh, downloaded the source code of this already to make it easy to do the screencast so this is the source code let's, let's extract it extract here so let's get inside it so this is the content of the whole extension and I will show you which part of this needs to be edited to get your own application working. So there is a file inside lib directory called twitter underscore lib dot js. Uh, just open it with any uh, text editor and find say consumer key. Okay, consumer secret. So here is this is the place we you need to edit so this is basically the consumer secret and consumer key for the clone bird application if you replace this with your consumer secret and consumer key of your application then uh, that's what we are going to do today so this is for twitter and the below one is for identica let's not worry about identica for now let's continue with the twitter one so i'm going to put copy paste my consumer key and uh, secret and say this so let's go to tools extensions on chrome and uh, by default it will be uh, non-developer mode you need to enter to develop mo developer mode by clicking on this link and then you can click on load unpacked extension so it's in my downloads directory let's find that and uh, select this okay so now you see clone bird installed for me uh, let's see whether if I tweet from this whether it will say hacked bird or chrome bird whether whatever I did was effect is effective or not so let's click on this now it should go to twitter page to authorize access to the application ok uh, since I am already signed in I just say hello access to this application so now you get the authorization token we copy this and paste it here click on the uh, icon again and 
paste the authorization uh, key and click authorize good to go so let's tweet a tweet tweeting from hacked bird nice tweet <coughs> So <clears throat> now I tweeted from Hackbird and it says tweeted from Hackbird. I can even show that on the Twitter page. Obviously it will show on all the applications which shows the tweeted via application name. So if somebody clicks on this it goes to techbangalore.com. So using this method you can improve your brand value as well as uh, get some little more traffic to your blog or website or business it will be very impressive what I can say to see something like this so that's all for now I am also trying to hack uh, Echophone I made uh, two uh, unsuccessful attempts already I will uh, make one more attempt and if I get through, I will do another screencast. For now, bye bye.